So here we are, the PJ Masks vehicles on the turntable alongside the different characters. So we have Gecko's Gecko Mobile. If we speed round here, we can get to the Cat Car, of course, driven by Catboy. And again, if we speed this up, we can get round to the Owlet Owl Glider. So lots of figures, lots of cars. We'll be looking at these toys in depth. We've been looking through a whole bunch of different toys from PJ Masks that have been kindly provided to us two of you today we're looking at vehicles and we're going to go through each of them looking at the packaging first so first up we're going to have cat car from catboy of course and you can see in this pack you get the cat car itself with movable wheels four wheels and also three seats each of the seats is color coded for a pj masks superhero of course catboy is in the front seat in the cat car because that's the person who's driving Catboy here, you can see his figure, you get articulated arms, articulated legs and head. The arms are two jointed so they can move both outwards and forwards and back. So I think that's a nice, nice combination of things for that car. Uh, in terms of price, we think this is going to be around $19.99 for these cars. Um, the figures are less, they're going right down to $5.99, $5.99. So it's pretty good value, I think. If you're looking for a toy for the PJ Masks fan in your house, um, I've been pretty impressed with this. We'll show you it out of the box in a moment. But first of all, we're going to move on to Owlette. And of course, she has the Owl Glider. Similar packaging, a similar setup to each of these cars and a similar price. We're expecting them to be hitting stores in October. We haven't got an exact date. So you can see the Owl Glider. Owlette's in that front seat and a nice textured body. Um, it looks like it would float. My kids are going to want to put this in the bath to see how it works floating around. But you've also got some wheels so it works on dry land as well. Um, a seat for each of the PJ Masks heroes, of course, that's important. And that Owlette figurine too. You can see her articulated arms. It has a sort of ball and socket joint on those arms so they can move left and right and forwards and back. And Owlette's different because she has this sort of rubberized plastic cape. So on the back you can see Owlet and the Owl Glider. You don't get those two other figures that are pictured. You just get that one figurine for Owlet and the Owl Glider car. So Gecko is, of course, our final vehicle, the Gecko Mobile. Now this has been my favourite. I just love the sort of the caterpillar tracks, the, um, the sort of the super bright lights at the front and the Gecko tail at the back. You can see if we spin these, the, the tracks themselves don't move, but they have wheels protruding so that you can run it along the carpet, along the kitchen floor, and of course you get a nice little gecko mini figure as well. If you're buying this, you need to consider which of the other packs you're going to combine it with in terms of mini figures of those figurines, those action figures. So we've got them all out of here. They're all unboxed and on the turntable. As you can see, we've also got a whole bunch of other PJ Masks figurines too. We have the standard two-pack figurines that come with a PJ Masks hero and also one of the villains over here. Um, we also have the light-up PJ Masks over at the back. We've done separate videos on those so you can see um, how they stack up. And this video is all about the cars. So we're going to start with Catboy, as you can see. Nice sort of rolling action as we destroy, destroy the turntable display. Let's just get them upright before we move on. Can I just get that? Owlet doesn't want to doesn't want to stay upright. Let's pop her up. Come on, Owlet, you can do it. I'll just give her a bit of a move. So, looking at Catboy, you can see here good spinning wheels, so that gives him a good forward motion. The front, uh, the front of the car have those big bright cat's eyes lights and sort of the cat teeth grill, which is nice. You've got lots of texture on the front here of the Catboy sort of lightning strikes. Different colouring, they've kept the lightning strikes dark blue here, whereas on his suit and the character, and elsewhere on the car, you've got that, that pale blue. If you look around here, you can also see what it's like underneath. I think these are just points where it's attached to the packaging. Some little bits of detail underneath, but of course, kids aren't really gonna be looking at that, particularly in terms of making the choice of which of these they want to buy. But in terms of design, it's nice. It really matches that style of Catboy. Um, in the show itself. Um, of course you can, you've got Catboy with it and he just pops into that front seat. If we grab another PJ Masks hero, let's get Gecko. Gecko also has his own seat. Now I found this a bit tricky because Gecko's tail sticks out. You can kind of just force him in but it's quite a, it's quite a tight fit. Now and, and maybe there's a way to do this but once he's in you see the tail just kind of curls around he's absolutely fine. 
it means that he's very firmly fixed in place. So you've then got Catboy and Gecko behind him. Catboy has a bit more of a wobble. Now we just need Owlette to take her place. So here's Owlette, and again, these figures just bend at the waist. I'm gonna have to try and sort out her cape so that it's in place. Clip. I'm <laughs> saying it, it's not as easy as it's all that. I'm doing this one, I think. Can I get her, can I get her in? <laughs> there you go. So a bit of a bit of pressure. I think kids might need a bit of help with that, unless I'm doing it wrong. But once they're all in that car, it has a, something of a transformation takes place. And suddenly you find yourselves playing as if you're the PJ Masks hero. I have this desire to make it move across the screen as if PJ Masks are going um, on an adventure to track the villains. Um, my kids are the same. Maybe that's just my propensity to play with toys. <laughs> to get on with an unboxing. When they're in the car, it's quite nice because you can pose their heads like as if and arms, as if maybe Catboy and Owlette are talking to each other in the back, ask, thinking what they could do. And of course, Catboy has his arms up. So he's steering. There aren't, there isn't anything for him to hold. You have a little Catboy lozenge here, which is a steering wheel, but of course, Catboy is sort of outside, so he doesn't fit on that. So there you go. That's the Catboy, Cat Car and Catboy. You get these two in the pack, which we think is $19.99, but the other two you'd have to buy separately. So let's park him here. You just roll him back in. So you can see as the turntable comes round, we have another vehicle here for Owlette. Um, and this is, of course, the Owl Glider. So if I can just squeeze it out without knocking anybody over. It doesn't roll quite as freely, whoops, quite as freely as the cat car I think it's because that little front wheel is a little bit slower to roll but still it would work and it, along the, along the carpet also it's sort of boat shaped so my instinct is to say let's see if this floats in the water and we may well try that out later of course the front seat in this in this vehicle is red because Owlet is the one driving so if we can pick who should we pick gecko here i don't want him i want a different gecko no I don't think we can so let's pop this gecko in now this gecko you might notice is a little bit special if I pop him in he's one of the light up geckos so if I press his head his little light comes on now that's another a toy we've reviewed elsewhere on the channel so check out the video on that but get him in and let's get oh not outlet again we need cat boy don't we let's get light up cat boy in that back seat bend his legs he just pops into place. And there you go. Whoops. So you've got light up cat boy, light up gecko behind Owlet. And again, well, with these figures, you can't do quite as much articulation. So you can't, I wanted to turn them to talk to each other, but they can't. So um, that's the sort of what you have to live with. Um, there's a sort of tail on the back of the vehicle there. Um, what else is there to say about this? That's about it really. You've got the, the Owlet um, steering wheel, the Owlet lozenge there. So I'm going to try and reverse this in here without knocking any of the cars over or the other figures because we need to go around to get the Gecko Mobile. So here comes Gecko. I'm going to go in and grab him. Not sure quite what Gecko is doing. He's got a bit of a funny stance here. Let's put his arms forward so he looks like he's driving. Come on, Gecko, get with the program. Now we have Owlet over here. And this is the light up Owlet. Again, I need to sort of wrap her cloak around the back and then she just pops into place. Once you get the knack of getting these characters in, they seem to work fine and they're in, they're not really wobbling around too much. And then last, last of all, we'll get Catboy. Catboy's gonna be tricky to fit in. He's got this big tail, but there's a slot for his tail. Obviously thought about that. There you go, and Cat, Catboy's in. And what I like about these non light up figures is I can really turn the head and talk to, to Owlet, although she can't turn around. Or well, perhaps Gecko is, is saying, wait a minute, guys, I should be driving. I don't need to be looking forwards. <laughs> so the vehicle itself, obviously the colors of Gecko, hasn't got as much texture on the body, a bit of a sort of smooth um, face to the grill here. You've got a few little lines of detail going over it. But obviously the lights underneath. It's not that the Caterpillar tracks themselves don't turn but you get a wheel on each one. Um, these attachments on the back um, don't move, um, but give a sense of that gecko tail. And I, again, with three of them in the vehicle, there's a real nice sense of recreating the sense of play 
from the show on the sitting room carpet or in the bedroom carpet or wherever you're going to be playing with them. So there you go. That's a look at the PJ Masks vehicles. If we just zoom in here, we can have a closer look at them as they go by. I think you'll agree that they look really nice. As with any toy, there's some compromises being made in terms of playability, cost and value, but I think the balance is about right here. Um, certainly, the mix of materials, the mix of price and features, and the way that it works with the other toys, I'm glad to see that both the light-up characters and the articulated characters from the two packs work just as well in this too. So as Catboy comes around in his cat car, what I want to do is to hear from you. Which of these are ones you think you're going to be diving in on? Or are you waiting for that um, PJ Masks HQ? Certainly it's worth planning ahead um, to see which of them you want to buy. Uh, it's also worth saying that if you wanted to, just like my kids often would do, you could have a takeover to say that Luna Girl has hopped into the cat car and is stealing it, <laughs> which I quite like. Again, the villains fit in just as well as the heroes. But which of them are you going to be buying? By, by figuring that out ahead of time, you'll have a better chance of making sure you don't get any doubles and just making sure that you get best value for money from the toys. We've got cat boys falling over here. I think we better better stand him up over there. So there you go. Do check back with the channel because we'll be having more video reviews of PJ Masks and more toys to be coming. We've got that big HQ that which we're going to be reviewing before too long. But for now, that's all we've got time for on Family Gamer TV.